Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. No way six million people could have been killed in the space of six years by gassing them and then burning the bodies. That's a complete lie. That's a fabrication. That was done to set up the state of Israel in 1948. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on, hold on. One thing at a time, my sister. Whoa. One thing Whoa. at a time. Bring it out. Because for this, to, for you to get an understanding of this, it took research. We have to go into scriptures. Several scriptures and show evidence as to how you, you connect. Who is the Benjamin Judah and Levi today? Let's get, because we're going into the curses. I went to one of the curses. Do we identify that curse fitting us as a people? The one about our sons and our daughters being taken away. It does. So what does it, what do you think that makes us? We are the Israelites. Right? All right, you mentioned, all right, let's, let's, let's address the, 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 um, the sign. Hold on. You mentioned about the, you mentioned about the sign. Numbers 1 and 80. Hold, hold Deuteronomy 20. We're coming back to that. Because you mentioned about the birth month. If the birth month is determined by your, by your, um, your tribe. Let's see what the Bible says. How is it that you are determined by your tribe? The seed comes from the man, the father. So whatever tribe the father is, that's what his children will be. They will be from that tribe. Numbers 1 and 18. Hold. This is the book of Numbers chapter 1 verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. So your father determined the tribe that you are from. This one thing is foolishness. Because if I, because based on the sign, I'm from Benjamin. If I had 12 children, one born January, one born February, one born... You are telling me that all twelve of them would belong to a different tribe? They belong to my tribe because I am, they came from my seed, my lineage. So that one thing is garbage that cannot be substantiated to the Bible. Right? As to do it, yes, horoscope, Sagittarius, all of that foolishness. But let's get back into the curse because we want to edify our people and show proof as to who we are according to the Bible. So we just read Deuteronomy 28 and verse 32 where it tells us that our sons and our daughters were, be, were going to be given unto another people. Now let's see if that is, let's see you're going to say, oh that's just only one. Let's see some more. Verse 48. Verse 46. 46. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So the day is talking about the curses. It says the curses are going to be upon the children of Israel for a sign. If I'm coming to half a tree and I say meet me by Sajakor Bank, how will I identify Sajakor Bank? By the sign. So the sign identifies of that building has been such a core bank. The curses therefore identify where the children of Israel are today. Because it was prophesied that the children of Israel would lose their identity. Well, not necessarily because that's one of the reasons the curses are there. If you can identify with the curses being part of your history, then you can clear say, oh, I'm a child, I'm a child of Israel, because my people identify with the curses. No, because that's why you have the twelve tribes. Each, because all right, the sign here is pretty much just a description of where the tribe, based on the characteristics. When you read Genesis 49, 
Jacob called his sons and he said, I'm going to prophesy to you what shall befall in the last days. And based off the characteristics that he gave for each of his sons, Reuben, Benj uh, Benjamin, Judah, all the way down, based off that description, it identifies where they will be found today. So based off the prophecy for Benjamin, it identifies us here in the Caribbean. So that's how we are able to identify. I'm not going to say that, okay, fine, yes, you must be from Benjamin. But it's just a guide us to identify where the majority of the Benjamites would be this day. You understand me? Right, so as I said, your seed of seed of the Father determines the lineage, right? And it determines the tribe that you are from as well. So let's get back to the curses. Deuteronomy 28. So it says, the curses are going to be upon the children of Israel for a sign. The, the curses will identify the children of Israel. So read on. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, reading from verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. So one of the curses that your children of Israel, enemies, did it say enemy? Enemies, plural. Plural. Because anybody read the history of the Israelites, the Israelites have always had enemies. The Moabites, the Ammonites, the Canaanites, the Jebusites, the, uh, the Edomites, who are so called white man today, we have always had enemies. Read. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So God send the enemies against his own children because with the, with the reverse 50, we refuse to keep the commandments. In hunger, so we want food, we have to serve this enemy. And in thirst, and in thirst, we have to serve this enemy. No, Jamaica is called, what's the meaning of Jamaica? What Jamaica mean? You don't go to school and tell them. What does Jamaica mean? Land of wood and water. Right? It says Jamaica is a land of wood and water. Do you have to pay NWC money to put water in your house? If Jamaica is a land of wood and water, why we have to pay NWC? We get water free from the sky. And also Jamaica is known as a land of springs. Jamaica has so much rivers all over the island. But yes, everybody have to pay water. Pay for water. That's a curse. That's it. Hey. Therefore, shall thou the bottle of water, Catherine speak, lifespan, water. This thing our people own any of those? No. They're owned by the so-called white man, the East Indian, and and, and um the Mafus. I call Lassell's chin. More by it. Who have a plan? Yes, he does. But we're gonna go we're, before we can before we get to that. I want to show. I I want to make a show. I want to show proof who we are according to the Bible. And then I'm gonna show you what we're required to do in order for God to come and rescue us from this. Because you believe that we're in captivity today. You believe that we're still slaves. Because you believe that we're still slaves. You. There we go. We can't travel. And look at it. You, you made a valid point. Because who? Who used to rule us before independence? Who you, which country used to rule us before independence? England. Can you freely book a ticket and fly say you're going to go England? What do you need for God there? You need passport. I need what? A visa. You can't, you can't jump on a plane. And the very, you know, so the, you know, so the passport where we have, which part you think it comes from? Who do you think print it? England. The very money that you have, Thomas Delaware and Company print the money that we have. Ain't no print by Bank of Jamaica. So that's a curse. We are serving our enemies for every the very money we use, the passport that we need to travel. We have to depend on the enemy for it. So we're going through the curses. We just have to serve the enemy for water. Sisters, you have, you have, you have, you have some very key points because guess what? The pants was never given to the woman to wear, it was given to the man. But guess what? This man said, Oh, it is okay for the woman to wear pants because guess what? The so called white man. Because with when, when women started wearing pants, they were considered to be lesbians. Yes. Because when they put on, because there's a saying, 
and me and, and me wear the pants and the family, not the house. What that mean? You are putting yourself in the role of a man because a man is supposed to be the one that wear the pants. But let's go back to the curse. So we're gonna go back to the whole thing about the women and pants. Read um continue reading. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which the Lord shall send against thee in anger and, and in thirst and in nakedness. The clothes that you wear, when you look upon the top, where it said, made in China, made in Taiwan, read. And in nakedness and in want of all things. Because we forget the struggles, read verse 15 again. Let's see why we are the, why we are cursed. Hold on, we're getting there. Listen. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Israelites are not listen to God. To observe, to do all his commandments. We feel like we do everything we want to do. I do me, you do you. We do anything we want. We don't listen to what God tells us to do. Read. And his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Why well, we are the dilemma today? Because, we, because God would have curse on us for not keeping his commandments. Plain and simple. That's why we are at the bottom today. And the Bible prophesied that as well. Let's get that verse 40. He was, he was because a divine curse, it says it shall be upon thee, upon your seed forever. It's a curse that's going to fall us. Once we deviate and not keep the commandments, the, as a people, the curses are going to keep on following us. So we curse our own seed, our generations that come after us. We curse them because we continue to disobey God and not follow His commandments. Christmas is one of them. We keep Christmas. See, I didn't want the Bible with a Santa hat on our head. What does that have to do with Christ? A big fat white man coming down a chimney. What does that have to do with Christ? That has nothing to do with Christ. That is of the devil. That's a pagan custom that we continue to follow today. That's why we are still cursed as a people. We don't want about um those shall become down very high and very very low and the other one. I'm gonna show you it's another curse that the other nations are going to be. There's a number on it. Alright, alright, well good my sister, all right? The number is the name and the number, it is there on the flyer man. Right down at the bottom here, sir. Alright. Down at the bottom, you can see. Alright? My sister, take care. So get that. Deuteronomy chapter 20 and verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. So my sister right there, what's your name? What's it? Huh? The Sparma. Alright. I'm Joan as I said. Right? You mentioned something very important. He said they're supposed to be at the bottom. Right. But guess why we are guess why they are not at the bottom and we are at the top. Why they are at the top and we are at the bottom? Why? They sent us into slavery because they did not keep God's command. Correct. So that's also a curse. Read that again. This is the Deuteronomy 28 verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. So it says the stranger that is the other nations. The other nations that is within among us shall get up above us very high and what? And thou shalt come down very low. And we shall come down very low. Who owns Jane Bank? Who owns Sachi Core? Who owns NCB? NCB is owned by Michael Leachin. I saw a more by it according to the Bible. Scotia Bank is owned by the Canadians, by the Edomites. They are the ones that control the money. We just simply spend the money. So that's why you add, that's why you know so much things. Oh praise my sister. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. So can we go to America and say, oh, America, I see you have a, because I'm saying America have how much trillion dollars in debt. We're going to lend you to clear off money to clear off your debt. Can we do that? No. We, in fact, go to them to borrow money from the IMF. And right now, the money that we owe them is going to be there for generations to come. 
we can never ever pay that debt. So they are going to lend to us and we have no economic power to go and lend to them. Read on. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high and thou shall come down very low. So we are going to go at the bottom. He shall lend to thee and thou shall not lend to him. He shall be the head and thou shall be the tail. So they are going to be at, at the head and we are going to be the tail. Because who build up America? Our people. Blood, sweat and tears. Our people. We build up Great Britain. Our people. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth